Hey guys, it's John here from Two Hearts One Roof and today we thought we'd show you our lightweight camera set that we bring with us on holidays or for travelling. Uh, we usually shoot with Nikon cameras, they're really big, really heavy. We took bags of cameras with us before to Paris and it killed my back. So we decided we'd get a lightweight camera for family stuff originally before we started the video blogging. And then we added a video camera which Chantal uses. I use Sony, which Chantal uses. Panasonic. So this is my little Sony. I kind of got rid of the kit lens really, really quickly. This is a, a 19 millimeter, I bring a nice close, Sigma lens. So I'm a big fan of the Sigma lenses, they're really cheap. Uh, they're really, really good quality. Uh, this is a prime lens, so it's, it's sort of an equivalent of about a 24 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. And it's got that sort of flippy screen there. It does take video, it's got no stabilizer, so it's really, really shaky. Uh, the photos are awesome out of it and it's got Wi-Fi built in as well so you can actually send it straight to your phone. But I've also got, this is kind of my baby, this is a Sigma, let me see there's two versions of this, this is a Sigma 30mm 1.4 DC. So this is kind of my portrait lens, this is around about a 50mm equivalent on a full frame camera. My little snazzy red lens caps, because I'm useless with these things, I keep losing them. Um, it's a little bit rubbish, it kind of falls off all the time, but the picture quality from that is amazing. It really does make it look like a professional level camera for the sake of 300 quid for the body and 250 quid for that lens. So that's my camera, that's my baby, that's what I carry around with me, that's what I take the photos with. I do a little bit of video if I have to, but it's mainly for photos. So now we've got Chantal's baby. So this is yours, hun. <laughs> so this has got kind of the flippy screen. This is one of the reasons we bought this camera. This is a really great video camera. It's the standard kit lens. I usually get rid of these things really quickly, but it does reveal really well. It's really sharp, it's really clear. It's got a built-in stabilizer, so it does take a little bit of shake out of the video, but it's really, really light. It's actually, well, it's a little bit lighter than this, but it's made of plastic. So if you drop it, you might break it. The Sony is metal. You might not break it, but don't drop it, essentially. So for the video, this is really cool because it's got the flip-out screen. You can see yourself in it. It doesn't have a top flip-out screen because you've got the viewfinder there. So it takes a little bit of getting used to of not looking at the screen and looking directly into the lens rather than looking at the screen so you're not looking off camera a lot. Uh, it does 4K, we don't use 4K, we just shoot HD video on it. But it's a really, really great little compact camera. I like the fact it's got all the controls on the outside. It's one thing that really bugs me about the Sony is the controls are really buried inside the menus. This has got a touchscreen, so when you do use the menu, it's actually really quite easy to use. Uh, the battery life on it is pretty decent, would you say? Yep, it's pretty good. Yeah, it takes standard SD cards. It's nice and easy. It's got a few connections in the side, should you want to use them. Same as any camera, really. We don't really use those a lot. Um, it's got a load of function buttons, so you can see it's got a function button there. It's got one over here, it's got one down there. You can program it at kind of anything that you really want, which makes going from, say, a digital SLR to this Panasonic mirrorless quite easy because you can put things in easy to reach places. Uh, we love the picture quality, I think it's great. I think it's actually a nicer colour than the Sony. I think it's got quite a warm colour to it, like a, like a Canon colour to it, which the Sony is quite green. Uh, but we'll we'll talk about that again. So next up, what we use, and I'm still not convinced by it yet, is the GoPro. Now this is the Session Five. We bought this on kind of a bit of a whim. We thought we'd use it a lot more than we thought we'd use it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really not kind of convinced on the quality yet. It's really difficult to use without the screen. We should have paid the extra for the screen. Uh, but it's handy. We did sneak it into some places that photography wasn't technically allowed. Kind of walking around with it, kind of just clicking the button. <laughs> uh, but it's okay, we've used it underwater, we've got some kind of cool footage of our son uh, swimming underwater with his eyes open, that's pretty neat. You can't really get that with any other camera. So that's something to, to figure out if we like it or not. We're not sure yet. We'll review it at a later date. Yeah, we've got some footage, we've got some stills. I've seen the stills, I've seen the pictures, they're not great quality compared to say, where's the Sony? Compared to say that, that kind of trumps it tenfold. But it's so small, it's so handy. I take it out of the little bracket, 
shove it in my pocket, people don't tend to notice it very much. So that's the GoPro. And next up, I thought I'd never say this, but it's my phone. Now I've been using Sony phones for a while. They were okay with the picture, but since we both traded over to the Samsung, this is the S7 Edge. The camera on it is phenomenal. Uh, we've been following Elliot around, chasing him around for video, kind of holding it down low, and it really does stabilize really, really well. The pictures on it are amazing. They for such a small little compact thing. Um, the actual selfie kind of camera, although we hate really taking selfies, it's some of the only way we can get our own picture taken. So it is quite wide, it's really clear, it's not low resolution like the old phones used to be. Um, and the front camera is great. It's just so handy to use when you don't really want to carry a camera around with you. It's a good excuse just to stick it in your pocket, take a nice quick few pictures when you're out and be happy with that. So this is what we're actually filming on right now. So Chantal has got the gold version. I've got the black because she was really nice and gave me her black one. So I'm <laughs> a little bit sad like that. Um, so if you like the video quality that we're using now, that's kind of that's the S7 Edge. It could be for you rather than buying all this kind of camera kit. Starting off, a phone is perfect. It's in your pocket. The battery lasts a long time and it's easy to get stuff off it. So there we go. That's kind of our gear review of what we travel with. It all fits in this tiny little bag rather than when we carry our Nikon kit and you've got to carry a bag kind of this big and it weighs about 20 kilos, it's, it's crazy. It's not practical for traveling with. So, thank you very much. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, give us a share, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much, goodbye.